G'day, I'm Brent Vaughan from Multiel Central and today we're on the Outremer 51, coming to you from Le Grand Motte in the south of France at the Outremer Cup. The Outremer 51 is renowned for its sailing performance in light and stronger breezes and is one of the most trusted passage making catamarans on the planet. So come sailing with us and let's check out why. We assemble at the race briefing for this year's Ultramare Cup, where 28 boats are competing from 11 nations. It's a climax of a week filled with activities, including specialised seminars, workshops and on-water training for new boat owners to help prepare their blue water passages ahead. We're joining John and Anne Strickland from Brisbane, Australia, on board their brand new Ultramare 51 to Coconuts. An impressive convoy of Ultramares make their way onto the course for a day of racing near the factory. The nets are large on the Ultramares with less superstructure forward to prevent slamming in open ocean. Raising the mainsail of the Ultramare 51 is easy with the main halyard back to an electric winch, controlled from a foot pedal allowing the skipper to free up his hands. The mast is a Lorimer carbon rig installed to help save weight and reduce any hobby horsing. Weight is critical to performance, so during the manufacturing process, the boat is built using resin infusion with the purple mesh and pipes you see, allowing excess resin to be sucked from the parts by vacuum under a plastic cover. Carbon bulkheads shown here ready for installation, and here installed also reduce overall weight of the boat. Honeycomb and foam is used in less critical furniture throughout the boat rather than solid timber. These elements combined bring the total weight to just 11 tonne, making it one of the lightest production catamarans of its size. The point being, of course, to sail easily in light winds as well as stronger winds. As racing gets underway in light conditions, we work hard to find clean air. For upwind sailing, we have a self-tacking jib, great for racing and shorthand sailing alike. Then for reaching, the code zero comes out on the bowsprit and we're off. On the Ultramare you have the option to helm from the very light primary wheel steering or from the twin tiller steering. And on a day like today, it's simply irresistible to jump on the tiller and get the boat in the groove. This performance is only possible by having long, narrow, efficient hulls that cause less drag through the water. The hull is joined at the keel with solid glass, but the rest of the boat uses a closed cell foam core that is perforated, allowing the outer and inner laminates to be joined, preventing delamination from impacts. The daggerboard cases are highly reinforced, making the daggerboard itself sacrificial while a safety scare can also be installed forward of the sail drive as another sacrificial safety measure. It's time to get the code D flying, which is similar to a top-down furling asymmetrical spinnaker. The extra sails are stowed in these enormous forward lazarettes, along with a neat rail to tie off sheets when not in use. The interior of the Ultramet is modern, simple and sophisticated. A forward-facing navigation table, there is a galley up with a double fridge and freezer. The cockpit boasts an enormous seating arrangement and two large queen beds flooded with natural light and views when you want them. The master stateroom enjoys plenty of storage and a generous bathroom with separate shower, vanity and head. Down below the aft deck is the separated engine room featuring the twin steering system and autopilot and plenty of space around the twin Volvo D240 sail drives. It's been an amazing few days racing this performance cruising cats but before we go our own ways we celebrate at the Ultramare private beach party.
you'd like to learn more about any of the Ultraman models or learn about taking delivery of a boat from their factory in France, message below or email us at sales at multihealthcentral.com or visit multihealthcentral.com. If you like this video or others that we do, please subscribe and we'll bring you more soon.